Hey guys, just a real quick reminder, uh, tonight I'm going to have Father Lampert on. Uh, Father Lampert is an exorcist. Um, it's going to be really exciting. Um, I, I can't do it live, it's some technical problems with my computer, but uh, we're going to record it at 7.30. I don't know how long it's going to go, and then we're going to upload it right after. So either uh, you can hear a priest talk about exorcism at midnight, or you can, <laughs> and when it's raining outside, it'll be pretty cool, I guess. Uh, or you can wait till the morning and check it out. Uh, but we're going to record it tonight. And please pray for me because uh, some weird things have been happening. I don't know if it's uh, a spiritual attack or it's just my goofiness because I'm all excited. And I'm uh, like, I'll give you an example. This morning I get to work and um, have a uh, work phone. And I have a personal phone. So this is Florida. So I always wear cargo shorts. You know, even though I got a sweatshirt on, within an hour I'll take it off because it's too hot. So I have, I have cargo shorts. So in one pocket I have my personal phone. In the other pocket I always keep my work phone. And it's not just a phone. This is how I print invoices. This is how uh, I print my load sheet. There's a lot of things I need the phone for. Uh, you know, without the phone you can't work. So the first thing you go in, you open up your truck in the morning. And you have to count make sure all the products in there that your inventory says. So you print out a load sheet. So first thing in the morning, I realize I don't have my phone. So I run to my car. It's not in my car. So my boss says, yeah, just drive home. You don't live too far from here. So I drive home. It's not in my house. I'm like, what the heck? And now I'm starting to stress out a little bit. So I go back in my car. This time I call it and I hear a faint ring. It somehow fell under my seat. So I don't know if that was just coincidental or if that was something spiritual. I don't know. But then I get in my truck and I'm driving to my first stop. I put on the radio and the Rolling Stones comes on. Sympathy for the devil. <laughs> now I confess, I love the Stones, but there's certain th songs I can't listen to as a Christian and that's one I always shut off. So I turned on a Christian radio station um, and I told the devil, there's gonna be no sympathy for you because my father's coming on tonight and he is gonna kick your butt. <laughs> and. Uh, I actually said this driving, you know, I was kind of excited. But, um, you know, the demon's father is the father of lies. You know, if you're not serving Jesus, you're serving the father of lies. Our father in heaven loves us so much. Our father is way more powerful than their father. The father of lies has demons working for him and he hates those demons. Our Father in heaven loves us so much he gave his only begotten Son. So whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Not only does our Father love us so much he sent his only Son, but he's given us a priesthood and he's given our priests authority to cast out demons and to heal the sick. It's a powerful gift our priest has. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, talking with him tonight. I spoke to him a little bit. Uh, Thursday night and he's such a humble man he's such a godly I mean I've only spoke to him briefly but I just I just felt such a sense of um, holiness I guess you can say it may sound strange but um, when I called him uh, I left a message and he called me back and I was so excited that I got his voicemail I said hey father I love you and um I was like, after I hung up, I'm like, man, that kind of sounded weird. I hope you don't think I'm some kind of loony tune. <laughs> but he called me back and humbly said, yeah, Rob, I would love to come on your show. So I'm really thankful, uh, Father Lampert, tonight. Uh, like I said, we're going we're gonna to record it at 730. Don't know how long it's going to go, but... Um, you know, you know, like we do it. We don't, uh, we don't edit nothing. Uh, we we just upload it. <laughs> you get, uh, you get my misspeaks, my bloopers. Uh, any mistakes I make, you'll see it all. This is going to be raw, but it's going to be real because God is real. And the devil don't want you to know this, but he is real too. And um, I have a lot of questions of my own and of my friends and family have given me questions. But please, uh, I want to get some questions from you guys. And I promise I don't charge for questions. <laughs> Whatever you put in the comment, first come, first serve. I'll look at the comments and go down the list. Uh, this, this program is absolutely free. Um, just like the gift of salvation is free. Jesus paid it. He paid the debt for us. Um, but, and, and it's free of commercials. Thanks to YouTube. <laughs> YouTube demonetized me a few months ago. So you don't even got to deal with commercials when you watch, uh, the show. But what I would ask you to do is to support our sponsor, Real Estate for Life. Go to realestateforlife.org.
not only will you be helping this program, you'll be helping the pro-life community and you'll be helping yourself because we only employ the most experienced professional realtors in the business. So go to realestateforlife.org. Thank you, God bless, and stay Catholic.